there are a lot of mosquitoes on my face. You know, it might not be a worse time to show you Helleborus orientalis, the Linton rose, uh, than August. But here we are uh, showing you this plant in August. Uh, the foliage still abounds. Uh, this is one of Gardner's favorite uh, landscape dry shade plants. Uh, it's used all over uh, the place uh, from northern climates to southern climates a popular perennial uh, for its very early spring bloom. Helleborus orientalis, the hellebore or Linton rose. Uh, this is a plant that's native to Turkey and the Caucasus. Hardy from zones five through nine, just gets one to one and a half foot high, spreading out one to one and a half foot wide. Uh, blooming very early, late February, March, April, depending on where you're at. But again, hardy from zones four through nine. People in Minnesota grow hellebores. People in Tennessee and Georgia, they grow and enjoy hellebores for their early spring bloom. Uh, now, modern cultivars have been uh, bred for the flowers to be more showy above the foliage, uh, but the traditional hellebore, uh, the flower actually comes below the foliage and nods downward. And so that's why it is so uh, useful as a plant to plant on a hill bank, maybe where you're walking on the low side of the hill and you can look up at the beautiful bloom. Uh, we're going to insert a picture of the bloom uh, and it is quite beautiful and it's something that I want you to try to seek out in the springtime. Here's a landscape tip. Hellebores are true harbingers of spring. Plant this near patios or walkways so that the early spring bloom can be fully enjoyed.